Smart locks can be one of the scarier things to add to your smart home setup because you're changing the way people can access your home and linking your lock to the internet in some cases, which can rightly make you feel a bit uncomfortable. August is one of the most well-known brands in this space, and after putting off getting a smart lock for years, I finally decided to get an August Wi-Fi smart lock. And I'm going to take you through what it's been like to use over the past six months. So first, let's talk about which specific model of the August lock that I got and why I chose it over the competition. The first thing that made getting this lock advantageous is that it works with an existing deadbolt, which is really important for renters like me who don't have the ability to change out locks on our home or for people who need existing keys to work with their new smart lock. And this has been one of the best parts of using this lock over the past six months. Maintenance people can still access my apartment, so I'm not breaking my lease, but I can now unlock my door with an app on my smartphone or my Apple Watch. The second thing that made me go for this smart lock is the Wi-Fi module is completely integrated into it. Unlike previous generations of the August lock that required a separate Wi-Fi bridge that you had to buy and plug into an outlet. Now, when I originally bought this lock, I thought this was going to be a major benefit, but it actually brings me to one of the first downsides I've encountered with this lock compared to the previous generation, and that is battery life. August estimates the fourth generation Wi-Fi lock I have should last anywhere from three to six months of use. However, in my experience, it's been more like six to eight weeks of battery life. And when you compare the estimated battery life of the fourth gen lock with the previous generation, which August estimates will last six months, the third generation locks battery life seems like a much better deal. So the battery life has been a bit of a downside with this smart lock in my experience, and another related downside are the batteries it takes. The fourth gen takes the CR1 23 sized battery, which are easy enough to order from major retailers here in the US like Amazon, and I've linked them in the description below, but they're still a far less common type of battery and thus more pricey than the AA batteries the previous generation of the August smart lock required. Now, one reason the battery life isn't as long on the fourth gen is there's less room for a larger battery compartment since August significantly slimmed down the size of their newest generation lock, giving it a much sleeker look in my opinion. Next up, let's talk automation and connectivity. One of the benefits of going with a smart lock nowadays are the smart home platform integrations you get as well as smart features. And the August lock has a ton of smart features that I've come to enjoy and rely on over the past six months. And the first one of those is auto lock. This allows you to set if you want the door to automatically lock as soon as it's closed. And it'll also auto lock if the door was unlocked but never opened after a set time. This is honestly one of my favorite features of the August lock. It used to drive me crazy when we would invite people over, they'd open the door and then shut it behind them, forgetting to lock the door. And yes, I've been guilty of forgetting to lock our door as well, especially when I'm like carrying boxes in or something like that. With this feature, I never have to worry about if our door has been left unlocked. And since the August lock can connect to a smart home platform like Apple's HomeKit, Google Home, and Amazon smart home platform, I get notifications each time the lock unlocks and locks again. Within the August app, you can also enable notifications called smart alerts that will send you notifications for specific events like if the door is left ajar for a certain amount of time, or the door is unlocked by a specific user and has been auto-locked, etc. Overall, I'd say I know more now about the status of my door and the lock itself with the August lock than without it. And by now, I know you're probably like, wait a minute, how does the lock know if the door is open or not? The August lock comes with a door sensor that is technically optional to install, but you really should install it. Now, the last auto feature this lock has is called auto unlock, which is a pretty cool feature, though one that hasn't been as useful for me as I would have originally thought. What this feature does is put a geofence around your home, and then when the app recognizes that you've left your home and its geofence, and then you come back to it, it'll combine that data and wait for your phone's Bluetooth signal to come within range of your smart lock, and then your lock will automatically unlock. However, with homes like mine where you walk up some stairs, I found that by the time I get up the stairs, the lock is either relocked already with this feature or it hasn't unlocked at all and it just takes too long for the lock to acquire that Bluetooth signal, resulting in me just using a regular key. And this leads me to another downside I found with the August Smart Lock, and that is the future of never needing to carry your keys in your pocket again 
It's just not there for me. Over the past six months of testing the August lock, I ended up carrying my physical keys in my pocket again, simply for the fact that it's often easier, but more importantly, a lot of times faster to just dig the keys out of my pocket and unlock the door and get inside versus having to dig my phone out, authenticate into my phone, and then open the August app to unlock the door. And trying to use Siri or the Google Assistant just takes too long or will just fail completely. Speed is another downside when trying to use my Apple Watch to unlock my door. August has an Apple Watch app, but it's been very slow and unreliable for me over the past six months. Months. Using Apple's HomeKit for me has actually been the fastest out of all the smart home platforms. That's likely due to Apple using a local HomeKit hub that makes a direct connection to the lock itself. But I also ran into issues with HomeKit with my lock going offline in the Home app, causing me to have to delete and re-add the lock to get it working again. Now, the months since iOS 15 came out, I've actually had way less problems between HomeKit and my August lock. And the Home app on the Apple Watch now controls the door at a speed I'd consider to be acceptable and is about as fast as using a regular key. Though I still have to roll my wrist for my watch to face me and then either I need to go into the Home app or I hit the side button and go into one of my shortcuts there to the Home app to unlock the lock. Now, sometimes it's just gonna be faster to have a key in hand to unlock your door. And the thing that I really wish that August would figure out how to implement with their locks is NFC, which stands for Near Field Communication. And it's the technology that allows for things like Apple Pay and Google Pay or unlocking a hotel room with your phone. By working with the big companies like Apple and Google and then implementing NFC in their smart lock, August could figure out a way to literally allow you to tap your phone or your smartwatch against the lock that would cause it to immediately unlock. And then I think you could actually make the claim that your smartphone or your smartwatch is literally a key to get into your home. Right now, the only additional unlocking accessory that August sells is a wireless keypad you can install for your lock, though you can potentially try and use NFC tags and Siri shortcuts with an iPhone, but there's no first party NFC accessory or overall seamless NFC experience from August. So those are the main software features that have made a big impact on me over the past six months of using the August lock. Now, of course, that's not everything the August lock can do. With the August app, you can control multiple locks in homes, invite different household members to be able to control your lock, invite a guest and give them temporary access to your home, and see an activity timeline of everything that's been going on with your lock. You can also add additional security to unlocking your door by requiring biometric authentication. So with an iPhone, you'll have to use Face ID in order to unlock the door, or a fingerprint sensor or face unlock with an Android device. Now, in order to do any of the things that I've talked about so far, in this video, you actually need to be able to successfully install the August lock, and thankfully that process was very straightforward. August gives you very helpful videos for each step of the installation process, and overall, I thought the process was well thought out. Like, for example, the small piece needed for installation had arrows to help you figure out which way a piece is supposed to face. The only issue I ran into when I first installed my August lock was the lock wasn't turning correctly, so I had to take it off and reinstall it, and that did seem to fix my initial installation issue. Other than that, I haven't run into any issues with its locking mechanism, and overall I've been very impressed at how solidly built this lock is. Alright, next up, let's talk recommendations. Overall, do I recommend the August Wi-Fi Smart Lock? Yes, but with some caveats. If you need a lock that works with an existing deadbolt and connects to Wi-Fi, but you want better battery life performance compared to the fourth generation, I'd recommend getting the previous generation lock, which at the time of this recording is still being sold. The lock will be a bit more bulky, but the batteries that come with it will be easier to replace and find replacements for, and you'll enjoy all of the same features that you get on the fourth generation that I have, so long as you have the August Wi-Fi bridge. Now, if you don't necessarily need a smart lock to work with an existing deadbolt, you have a lot of options out there. August makes another version of their smart lock that you might want to consider, or there are other locks from Yale and other brands that might work better for you based on the features that they offer. To me, this lock would have been perfect if it had better battery life, a more common type of battery, and if August had figured out a way to implement NFC in a seamless way to use your smartphone or smartwatch to unlock your door. Until I get a lock with that feature, the dream of never carrying my keys around with me still isn't a reality. 
The August Wi-Fi Lock 4th generation retails for $229.99 here in the US and comes in both silver and matte black, which is the color that I have. Check out the purchase links on the side of this video or in the description below to learn more. If you have any further questions about the August Wi-Fi Smart Lock, leave them in a comment below. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this one. And check out some of our other smart home reviews like ones we did on the i7 Roomba Robotic Vacuum Cleaner and the Philips Hue Smart Lighting System. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.